Okay, here we are for the New Day Book in a Box. This is the tutorial for the inside back cover. It should be pretty short. Um, I was a hot mess in the inside front cover video. I promise I have my schnitzel in gear this time. And um, we should do much better. Much better at this one. So, I will try my best not to get off topic, but I can give you absolutely no promises. So, as I said at the beginning of the last one, I forgot to add um, just our backing sheet that we're going to put on the inside back cover. This is what we're going to build um, our inside back cover interaction on. So, what we need for this is eight and a quarter by ten and a quarter, okay? We do not need decorative paper yet for this one. We did for the front um, because we were building on it. But this one, you'll see, everything will be fine. So what we are doing with this one is we are going to make a little door that you'll be able to open up. And then we're going to have a, a large pocket in here so you will be able to pull out another folder that um, will open up as well. So this one, my suggestion would be, if you're using this as a recipe book box, of which I am totally jealous because I didn't think of that until halfway through, if you are using it for that, this is gonna be perfect for those um, eight and a half by 11 handwritten recipes that your mom, grandma, you, anybody has written down. Or if you are using it as just a book, this would be a great place to put large, um, you could put, layer your five by sevens, or if you cut down slightly, eight by tens. It's hard to find books that have room for eight by tens, um, but remember originally whenever I made this book, that was the plan, is it was for a friend who wanted a place to put five by sevens and eight by 11 pictures for a wedding album. So, onward and upward. Let's get out our scoreboards. And we will go over what we have hopefully already cut. But if not, just put me on pause. And we will score our pieces. So first we have A, which is 10 and a half by 10 and a quarter. And we are going to score at a half an inch on the left-hand side. Oh, piss. There we go. Oh, my gravy. I am out of control today. All right. B is seven and a half by 11 and a quarter. I did have to get a um, 12 by 12 sheet of paper to do this one. You could probably just do it by 11. You just may need to cut everything else down by a quarter of an inch. I would go ahead and make everything the way I said. Do this one with an eight and a half by 11 size sheet of paper and then trim accordingly afterward. You know, like, like how I did in the last video where I had to trim things down because I realized I did my math wrong. So um, if you don't have the 12 by 12, because I do not always have 12 by 12 matching paper to go with when I'm making my books out of. Okay, so this one is going to be our side pocket. So we're gonna score it a half an inch on the top, on the left and on the bottom. We are doing it on the left because this is gonna be our spine side and we want to be able to pull out this big folder from the right. If we put it on the other side, we're gonna run in and we're never gonna see what's in there. Could be the Goonies treasure map, but we'll never be able to see it because it'll run into the spine. All right, so we have a half an inch at the top. We have a half an inch on the left. And we have a half an inch on the bottom. Okay. Now we have C, which is eight and a half. By 10 and we're going to score it a half an inch on the left. This is the folder that we're making that's going to slide in. 
And see this, you may not need to trim down if you're using that other one with 11 inch paper. I did because I wanted to make sure it could slide in and out easily. Um, so if you're using 11, yeah, you'll need to trim off at least a quarter of an inch on this one. Just so it doesn't get all hung up in there. Part C2 is 8 by 10. And we're not scoring this one at all. And then we have what I'm now calling B, which is the far, part I forgot, which is our eight and a quarter by 10 and a quarter. That is all of our scoring done for that. So we're gonna put D right here in the middle, which is our base. We're gonna use A and B. And on B, we're gonna go ahead and knock off those corners. One of these days, I'm just gonna yell at them, knock it off. And they won't come off, but it'll be fun to do. Okay. So, we'll fold down these score lines. Burnish them so that they remember where they belong. I'm sorry. I really am kind of wound up today. All right. And then on A, I'm going to go ahead and score, not score, I've already scored. I'm going to fold and burnish. Burnishing just helps it remember the rest of the way, where it's staying, where it goes. So here is our part B, D. This is our base page. Back, whatever you want to call it. This is the part that we are going to attach to the inside of the box, the inside cover. So I want to put A right on top. Right there like that. Okay? So I am going to go ahead. Do I want to? No, I don't. I am probably going to bring this in actually a quarter of an inch because this is going to be right up next to the spine. So yeah. I'm going to bring this in a quarter of an inch. Yep. So we're going to actually go in a quarter of an inch on our, our base backing page. Oh, for the love of peanuts. It's because I need to refill it. I've made three books with this one bottle, and I still have enough in here, but I think whenever it gets low, it gets persnickety. And no matter how many times I tell it, nobody likes a persnickety bottle of glue. She's got this attitude, and she just does not care. By cracky, she's going to do what she wants. All right, so I'm going in approximately a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna line up my point. I'm using my grid on my little board here. And then I'm gonna line it along the bottom. That will get me my straight up the side. Okay, so here's my, my quarter inch. That's where I lined it up. And then I lined it up along the bottom. And then my side is now straight. I got tricks. I used to tell the kids at school, because everybody always says, you got tricks up your sleeve? Yeah, that's why I wear big sleeves, because I got big tricks. All right, so now we're going to open that up, and we have our pocket. Remember, we scored on the left, so we are going to slap that big boy down in here, but we are going to leave... A skirmidgeon of space. See, that's about an eighth. Because we want this to fold over smoothly, and it's okay that we're going to have this lump here. What we don't want is if we were to put it right up to it, we're always going to get this bow. Okay? If this edge is going to bother you, trim it off. See, it's going to leave a 
bit of an edge. So I am going to trim that off because I know me. <clears throat> so here's my left side. I want to trim on the right side. And I am going to ballpark it. That looks good. There we are. And now we won't see it. All right. Let's hope here that Louie the gluey is going to work for me. So far, so good. And we will go ahead and glue this down. And then all we will have left on this is to add our, uh, put our folder together and slide it in. So this one was fast. Had I not screwed up and just been so out of it for the first one, we would have been able, I would have been able to put both of them together, but <clears throat> that is not how it was to be. All right, so I've left an eighth of an inch. Did my bottom point, my bottom point. And there is our pocket. Always want to press down, get any air bubbles you've got in there out. Make sure your glue is remembering where it's supposed to be. Smooths it out, covers more space. Yeah, so let's set that to the side and we'll get out part C and C2. C has our score line on the left, so we're going to go ahead and score that. And this is going to end up going right on top of this. Okay. So, oh. all right, bottom left point with bottom left point. Line it up along the bottom and then along the side. All right, and push, 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 press, press, press. All right, so there's our little folder. You could put pockets in here if you wanted. Um, just remember, if you're going to put a pocket in here, you need to make it about an eighth of an inch shorter so you're not running into this. Otherwise, you'll have a big bulge. I know you can't see that, but you'll have a bulge whenever you go to shut it. Um, tuck spots, so you can just slide pictures in. Big pictures, newspaper clippings, if anybody does those anymore. All right, so I'm going to close up my glue, and we are going to put our magnets down. We're going to do two, and we're going to put them right about there. Not at the very top and the very bottom, but somewhat in the middle-ish. Middle top, middle bottom. Okay. Sometimes it moves my tape and it, I get mad at it. I don't get mad at it, but I'm 
disappointed that it's not staying where I put it. Okay, so we'll go ahead, push that down. I can slide this on the inside. Oh, and it's gonna be too big. So we're gonna trim that because I moved this in. Yeah, I'm gonna take down about a quarter of an inch. Now I am making sure that I am cutting the open part, not the part with the hinge. There you go. Now for my friends who need to uh, trim this down, you can always just trim off the top because you're gonna get through that hinge. So just trim it to what size you need it to be. And this is in a box, so this is actually the side of the box where the side and the tops are gonna fold down, so you will be able to pull it out. Um, the front of the box where we did the double pockets those parts are stationary and they won't fold down. So that's why we had to be careful of what we were putting there. All right, there's our inside front and back covers. I will see you in the next video for putting the book together. We're going to build the box. Toodles.